I am all for helping to curb opiate abuse, but this Opio Health AI is flawed. The program has bugs and meds shouldn't use it. Look, analytics that help identify a patient's risk for misusing opioids, protect our liability. This is a program meds should absolutely be using. Liability is the driving force? What about patient care? You know that's not what I'm saying. Plus, opioid health, it's not meant to supplant a doctor's but diagnosis. it does. It sows seeds of distrust. M my patient today, the scripts in her file, the ones that got her red flagged, they were for her aging cat. Veterinarian put it in her name. And I'm sorry about that, but if you look hard enough into any AI program, you are gonna find outlier cases. The Night Shift had a patient a few weeks ago who got flagged for filling scripts in multiple states. Turns out he was a pilot. His pharmacies depend on what route he's flying. Yes, there are some growing pains, but algorithms are not the enemy. They can help predict which patient is most likely to benefit from a particular treatment, estimate ICU probabilities, whether a patient's going to deteriorate or die after being discharged. Peter, we These... get it. You're a believer. But Dr. Asher's problem is less with AI and more with this specific program. And frankly, I share her concerns. As soon as the board approved testing opio health, I reached out to their parent company for clarity on how they amass and interpret their data. They have yet to share any information. And they claim that it would infringe upon their proprietary algorithm. Look, if opio health isn't comfortable sharing how their program works, I'm just not comfortable using it. And, and given the growing number of errant cases, I'm going to petition the board to remove the program hospital-wide. You're going to be picking a fight, and not just with the board, but with Jack Dayton. Eh, so be it.